What is up guys and gals, it is Icon here, welcome back to my channel and I wanted to talk a little bit more about competitive Call of Duty. So if you subscribe to me starting back in Black Ops 2 then you will know that a lot of my channel is about competitive Call of Duty and uh, I'm working towards getting towards that in uh, Call of Duty Ghost. So a video that I recently did was my best competitive class setup for SMGs and now I want to talk about assault rifles a little bit. So I have three assault rifle classes in this loadout and these are the ones that I primarily primarily use and uh, I'm gonna go through these so first of all this is my main class setup this is usually the one that I start with um, if you're familiar with competitive Call of Duty if you play any if you play game battles or if you watch pro scrims or pro, uh, pro streams or whatever then the Remington is the gun that's used the most so um, the Remington it just mainly because it doesn't recoil very much and while it has a slower rate of fire it deals probably the most damage of an assault rifle so um, Remington for sure. That's my go-to gun. That's most people's go-to gun. After that, uh, you definitely want to use the red dot sight just because accuracy is pretty much everything in competitive Call of Duty. And then I use the grip just to help with my accuracy just a little bit. Um, honestly, I if I'm playing a public match, I usually switch out the grip for extended mags because you only have a 24 round, round clip. But in competitive, uh, 24 rounds is pretty much good enough. You're only playing four people, so you don't really have to worry about extended mags. So I put on the grip. To start off, I run the normal frag, the normal concussion, just because I want to get a feel for how the other team's playing. And uh, I would rather have these on me so that I'm more prepared than not have them on me and be underprepared and then start losing games because I don't have them. In terms of my perks, this is pretty much what you'll see in... I don't know I mean a huge pretty much this is what people use but I mean you'll see this on almost every gaming setup uh, video but so first of all I'm gonna go with like the three main ones so marathon dead silence and focus those three at the bottom that you see there that's pretty much what people run you have to have dead silence you have to have focus those are two big ones no matter what you have to have those two now after those there's there's a lot of things that you could do but I tend to usually uh, stick to the speed perks because again in competitive it's all about winning and then if you're playing blitz or if you're playing domination or something you want to be able to get to those objective places quicker so I go with ready up sleight of hand and marathon uh, marathon so that I can you know always run and not have to stop sprinting sleight of hand because again the army only has a 24 round clip so I want to use sleight of hand so that I don't really have to worry about uh, getting caught in those in between situations when I'm reloading and then finally, ready up. Uh, it's kind of like um, dexterity from from Black Ops 2, just so that, and it's only one point. So I mean, if you have a spot to fill and it's only one point, definitely throw on ready up. And then my specialist. I mean, I start with steady aim and uh, quick draw, but <clears throat> and for some reason my Xbox One uh, popped up there in, in the corner. Stop listening. Stop. Stop listening. Okay, sorry about that. That's the problem with technology a little bit. Anyways, I start with steady aim and quick draw, and then I don't use a third one so that I get all four of my bonuses there at the end. I get them at nine kills. And then in my bonus, I just have, um, I go ahead and I put on scavenger, I put on sit rep, put on agility, and then uh, blast shield, just in case they are throwing grenades and I'll protect myself. But in, uh, in competitive, it's very likely that you're ever going to get this just because it's all about you know winning and kill-death ratio doesn't really matter. So if you're going on a 9 or 10 kill streak in competitive, then you're playing pretty well. Now, my slight variations of this. In this one, so this is the Remington before. This is the same exact thing, but I go ahead and I put the thermal sc scope on this. The reason for that is because if like we're playing domination, then I will use this, and I have some teammates that usually run smoke. And if they're running smoke and throwing it at B dom, then I can still see not only where they're at, but I can see where the enemy's at as well. So if our teammates are running smoke and they go towards B and they throw it, and it might be contested or we might lose it or whatever, I want to know where my teammates at as well because uh, friendly fire is on. So I want to be able to tell where they're at. And then I also want to be able to tell where the enemy is at, of course, so that I can kill them and help out my teammates that are on the flag. And then with perks, it's pretty much the same thing. But because I took off lethal and my tactical, I have two more perk slots. And there I just throw on agility. 
So I put on agility that way, I uh, have that increased movement speed. Again, I can get to places even quicker now, uh, then my strike package is pretty much the same. So a uh, specialist with steady aim and quick draw. Now, the only variation that I have of this is that it depends on, you know, these two guns only have a 24 round clip. So these two classes, I'm using the Remington in both and they have a 24 round clip. If I say I'm playing the game and I get about halfway through and I realize that I need a little bit more, uh, a little bit more of an increased clip size, then I'll go ahead and I'll switch to this AK class. And this class is actually the same as the Remington class with the Thermal. But on the AK, I feel like I don't need a sight. I don't know why. I love the iron sights. It doesn't recoil very much, and I play really well with it. So I, for whatever reason, and this is just me personally, I don't need a red dot sight. So I replace the red dot sight with a muzzle brake. So I keep the grip on, and then I put on the muzzle brake. And the AK has uh, right around 40 rounds, I believe, in its clip. So... It gives me that six, those 16 extra rounds or so. I can kill, you know, a, a little bit more people. And usually in competitive, I mean, if I see, if I have a 40 round clip, there's pretty much with that, with those 40 rounds, I can kill at least three people, and maybe even all four people with one clip. So uh, I feel like one kill every 10 rounds isn't that far fetched. So um, that, that's when I usually switch to this. Is if I need the little bit more of uh, clip size, I need a little bit more bullets, then I'll switch to the AK. But, uh, so yeah, if you're an assault rifle player, then I would try out these three loadouts, the AK, and then the two R5 classes. And, uh, you can mess around with the perks a little bit, but these are the ones that I like. I tend to leave them like this, and they always stay the same. So, that's all that I have for you guys in terms of this. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. Um, I like interacting with you guys and taking some of your suggestions as well. And from that, I will let you guys go. So thanks for checking out another one of my videos. If you're new here, like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Everybody have a great night. Peace.